Media. Uh, I'd just like the um, the energy we play with on both sides of the ball, especially, um, you know, having, what, what was it, six games on a row, and we we haven't really played a lot of road games, so to come in here and, you know, stick together and get some wins, it felt good. But overall, I like the, you know, the brand of basketball we played on both ends. See young OKC team, hard to recognize. I mean, a lot has changed since you were here. What, with you and James both coming back to a place you guys had a lot of great years, what, what thoughts come to mind as you come back to Yeah, I mean, think about um, the foundation and where you built yourself up as a pro, and this was definitely the spot for me. Um, taught me all about what it means to be a pro, the people here in the organization. Um, really guided me as a young player, and, you know, that set the foundation and for what I am today. So a lot of great memories coming back, seeing a lot of people, and it's good to see folks here and play in front of this crowd in a minute. So um, I had a good time. Obviously, you, uh, I mean, you played through it, so it can't be that bad. How's your shoulder? How's it feeling? Are there any things that you have to you know, test you're going to go through when you get back home or anything like that? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's solid. Um, I was a little sore here and there, but um, I played, you know, and it didn't get in the way too much. So keep getting treatment and, you know, take it a day at a time. Speaking of the OKC days, did it hit you this is the first time you and James played here together in about 10 years since he was traded? Yeah, I seen that tweet the day before the game. Or, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy how stuff happens. And, you know, you never thought uh, when James got traded, I didn't know what the future would hold. And for us to come back around and be on the same team as we got older is pretty sweet. And coming here and receive the love and the, that we got from the fans. And, you know, you just know we put in a lot of work here. We help build this thing. So it's good to come in here and, you know, see what's – you know, see what it is today. Talked about on the other day about Lamarcus and and his offensive presence. Just you guys continue win when he plays. Was he kind of like a thermometer almost of like you know, kind of if he's playing well, it tends to mean good things for the offense. Yeah, I mean he's um, knocking down the shot and putting the pressure on the defense with his rolls, with his post ups. You know, it's all obviously great for us and. Um, you know, he's been, you got to give him credit for staying ready and knocking down shots. He's a, he's a hard worker, and, you know, he puts the time into his craft every day, so it's not a surprise to us. Greg Logan. Uh, Kevin, you have another significant game coming up Tuesday with Bolden State. Some people might even look at it as a, a finals preview. And when, so when you see how well you guys have improved on this road trip, you know, how do you feel going into that game, and will it be a special game for you? It's just another game. I mean, it's 15 games into the season. I mean, obviously they're the best team in the league, and they're playing at an elite level. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a regular season game, you know, and we obviously want to go out there and win in front of our home crowd, but we're not going to put too much pressure on ourselves. and call this a finals match like we didn't even look at it like looking at it like that's another opportunity for us to build up who we are you know figure out what we want to do out there and keep pushing christian hey kevin the teams that you guys beat during this road trip are kind of similar to the teams that you guys lost to early last season um think, think about that loss in detroit just teams that were i guess not necessarily playoff contenders that were able to kind of get you guys in the energy and the effort just what's been the biggest difference between last year uh, and this year, in terms of dealing with some of those same teams. Yeah, just a sense of, sense of urgency. I mean, now in the league, it's almost like any given Sunday where you're like, you can lose any night to any team, no matter their record, because the three-point line is so heavily involved into the game. Um, you know, so teams can stay in it by knocking down threes some nights. So, um, and if you're not focused, you know, a little stuff matters in the game. Offensive rebounds, the little details matter, because a lot of young teams not going, um, they going to go out there and play, you know, extremely hard every possession, you know, trying to create possessions for themselves. And you've seen that tonight. This team got back into the game. Uh, five minutes ago, they were down 10 after being down 20 the whole game, most of the game. So um, it's about staying focused on the detailed things, um, you know, and, and staying ready each and every play. And tonight we did that.